again, my friends, and welcome to Buzz to Beast Theater, where we share with you a piece of the Buzz Today on Buzz to Beast Theater, we have for you a special hair tutorial straight from the Buzz how to get the perfect dry hawk. See, Sirdy? See. See. Step one organize all your strands of wool with your hood like this. Gently, gently, especially if you've frayed your hooves in the pasture, on the pasture stones, you don't want to get any split ends. So don't go too fast. Don't rip nothing with the frayed hooves. Gently. All the way back. See, Sudi? See. Gotta get it on. Alright, step two. Now that we're all organized here to see, hmm? you need a special pair of shitty hands. And I'm afraid there's only two. <laughs> see? See. See. So now, Shitty will demonstrate how, well, actually, let's do it hoof style first because not everyone has a Shitty. Mm -hmm. Only I'm so fortunate. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So, hoof style, this is how you create the triangle. With the point of your hoof. Gently, gently. Begin creating your sections. Try not to smash with the middle of your hoof. It looks the same. I'm getting there. <laughs> Look, there's forms. Uh, I see, I see. Like this. Gently. Flatten. And spike. Flatten. Spike. Shall I zoom? So they can get a closer look. Just come closer, Shitty. Yeah, I'm getting it, Shitty. Yeah, I'm getting it. Flatten and spike. Flatten and spike. It may take a while, hoof style. They're not as precise as Shitty hands. And if you have stand ups like this, this action here may not be enough, so you gotta flatten. And if flattening doesn't work, backstroke. And flatten. The Bosch video on this later also makes wool gel, which can assist greatly in creating the trail. But for now, backstroke, flatten, flatten, and spike. See, Shitty? See. We have a section, Shitty. Next, the middle section. Shapes of a curve. It's not a widow's peak. It's a curve, see, Shitty? See. It's not a point. It's a curve. It's a curve. See. And it's a middle curve, see. Be sure to align the middle hawk with the end of the curve. Whoosh, whoosh. Other side. Also employ other hoof if you must. You are free to turn your head in the most convenient positions. The first time. Now, the next section. You must remember some shapes have galdics built in. This is not a flaw. But some shapes have it. Nonetheless, hence, Buster Joe would be helpful once again if you have such legs. Flatten and spike, 
Latin and Spike. Mirror check. More definition needed here. A little more here. And then you have to define the tip with this. And there you have the oh wait. It. And there you have the non sister style dry hawk. It's more like hills there. Hill hawks. Really. <laughs> <laughs> see sweetie. See. See. Now we will see the more intricate and defined version by Sudi. As you see, Sudi's fingers are very precise. See, Sudi? See. There is no dry hawk like the one Sudi creates. And is created much faster than his style. Sharp definition, Sudi seems. See, the sharpest. The sharpest, Sudi. Like spikes. Spikes from the bush. Perfection, see, Shuri? A little more definition on the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the perfection stage. See, see. I got some, Shuri. You got a few somethings. Flat in, Judy. Flat in. I'm gonna get Judy. Just about. There you are. And there we have it. This shirty style trihoxy. From the bush. Side view. Side view. Front view, see. See, see, and no one wears it like me, Shuri. She. As you can see, the plush is a place of price and style. From where else have you heard of the Trihawks, Shuri? Nowhere, my dear. Nowhere but the plush, yeah. Nowhere. Once again, thank you for joining us on Plush to Peace Theater, where we share with you a piece. Oh, the blast yeah. More hair tutorials to come from Blast Your Beast Data. Once again, I am your host, Alan C. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs>